Hi guys, welcome to this video in the series Java Tutorials for Beginners. In this video we're going to be looking at arrays. So let's create a variable, let's just declare um, uh, an instance variable here. So we're going to say private int number. Now we know that private int number is a, basically number is a single value of type int. So an array can be a collection of values rather than a single one or you know to be more specific a reference to a collection of values or group of values. So say we wanted to have a group of numbers, or just a group of arbitrary numbers, and it could represent anything. It could be anything, maybe the prices of an item in um, in a basket or something like that. So all we have to say, so I'm going to call it numbers, and I'm going to say in front of the ints, I'm going to put two, um, a set of square brackets, an open and a closing square bracket. So this now represents that numbers is a reference to an integer array. So in other words, a group of integers. So now that we've declared it, let's initialize it in the constructor and we'll say numbers equals new int array, semicolon, because we have to end it with a semicolon. And we're gonna give it a size. So we'll just say five, because arrays have to have a fixed size. Now that we've initialized it, if I just go out of this, let's compile it. Let's create an instance. We've got it here on the object bench. Now let's go to inspect, which is the third option down. And you can see here that this is the current state of our numbers variable, which as we said was a reference and a reference is represented by this arrow. So let's click, double click on the arrow and it brings up a new window and it's got some more information for us. So you can see here at the top, it says numbers of type int array. Int length is five, which is what we set up, and these represent our indexes. So we've got position one, uh, so, so this is position one, position two, position three, position four, and position five. Notice that the indexes start at zero, they don't start at one. So in this case, the last position will be four, not five. And these are all the corresponding values. So initial, initially, they're set up as zero. So let's change some of them values now. So let's go to here, let's have a new method and we'll just say public void add to array. And in this method, we can say something like um, numbers square brackets. So we're referring to numbers is the array. So we're referring to the array and we're saying position number uh, two. So we're saying at position number two, it's going to equal an arbitrary integer number. So we'll say 150. So what's going to happen here is 150 is going to be placed into numbers index two. Let's just see what this looks like. If we compile, create a new instance, inspect. As we said before, it's all set up as zero initially. Now let's run that method add to array where we just put that code in. Let's inspect again and you can see now that it's updated at position 2 what we said and it um, has the value of 150. Let's go back into it now so let's just do another quick example um, and just say numbers position 4 so the last position will say that that's 200 so now numbers 2 is going to be populated uh, you know uh, numbers index 2 is going to be populated with 150 Numbers index four is going to be populated with an index of two uh, with a value of two hundred. So let's compile. Let's create a new instance. Let's add to the array and let's inspect. And we should see one hundred and fifty in index two and two hundred at index four. So okay, so we can just delete that now. And another thing that we can um, do is say, for example, we want to initialize an array and we want to straight away just insert a group of uh, values so you know we we already have the predefined values that we want you know if, if for any particular reason so if we leave our declaration as it is and we say numbers we just take out the five take out the, the semicolon just for now and we have a, an opening a closing curly brace and then we can just include that semicolon sorry so um Inside the curly braces now, we can 
just insert our values. So we can say something like 150, uh, 61, 4, 71, 200, 5, 60. So we've got his um, seven values inside the array. So this is going to now initialize the array with these seven values. And we no notice that we haven't given it a size. The size is determined by the number of items inside these curly braces. So let's compile that. Let's create a new instance. Let's straight away just inspect. And because we put that code into the constructor, we're going to straight, straight away have these values. So notice that it goes from 0 to 6 because there's 7 in total. And we've got all of the values populated there straight away. Another thing that we can do as well is that we don't actually have to include new int like this. This won't work as it is because it'll only work if it's local. So um, if I actually just copy this int array and put it in front of numbers here, and let's just get rid of this line. So now this is a local variable. It's not an instance variable like it was up here. So if we, de we declare it like this, we can say int array numbers like this. So if I run this, compile, and it compiles so it works. I'm not going to go into any more detail of that, but basically this is just another way of um, writing out the same thing, but if it's a local array rather than an instance variable like it was up here. So that's basically that. I'm just going to bring that back. So What we're going to say now is, um, just as another example, instead of integers, we're going to use strings. So we're going to say string array of, um, let's say fruit or something like that. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So let's say uh, fruit, fruits, plural, equals a new string array. And again, curly braces. And we can just insert some values in here. And this time, when we're separating them by commas like this, instead of just putting, um, say, apple, we have to have it in speech marks. So it has to be in quotation marks. We say apple, banana, grapes, and last but not least, oranges. And let's just have a... And let's just have that as it is, actually. I'm, I'm not going to do anything else for that. Let's just um, compile that, create an instance, inspect as it is, and you can see here that we've got our values 0, 1, 2, and 3. And we've got all of the associated um, strings with them in quotation marks. So, And as we said before, there's four values. We didn't actually... Um, we didn't actually write out that the array length was was four. It will just determine that by the number that are in the array, the number of items that are in the array, which are four. I'm going to leave it there for this video. I'm not going to go into anything else then. Thank you very much for watching. If you did find this video useful, then please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.